Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question design hash set. So design hash set without using any built-in hash table libraries. So implement hash set class, so void add and uh, taking a key, insert the value key into the hash set, bool contains uh, taking a key, returns whether the value key exists in the hash set or not. Void remove um, taking key, remove the value key in the hash set. If key does not exist in the hash set, um, do nothing. So let's see, let's see the example. So um, initialize uh, my hash set and uh, if execute add and uh, with one. So hash set has one and uh, add two and um, set has one two and uh, contains one. So this hash set has one. So that's why I return two. Check the containing three in this case false right and then add two again but uh, this hash set already has two so um, do nothing just a uh, set equal one two and uh, contain two so in this case return two right and uh, remove two so remove this two from a hash set so that's why uh, now hash set has only one and uh, check uh, containing two so in this case, um, so two already are removed. So that's why we should return false in this case. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let's jump into the code directly. I believe you can understand easily without uh, any visualization. I do every time. So first of all, self dot size. So you can put any number. So I, let's say I put a uh, 1000. So you can put a uh, 100, 10,000, whatever. So I put a uh, 1000. And the uh, self dot hash set equal so i create a 2d array so for underscore in range size should be self dot size and uh, i create a hash function so own hash function and uh, self dot t so in this case return so in this question i think uh, all input value is is a number uh, are numbers but uh so that's why you can do like uh, just a key modulo uh, mod modulo and a uh, self dot size or so if key has a uh, like a in key includes a uh, like a string so you can get a hash value from string like this hash and a key like this so if you put a number um, as an argument so this hash function return the same exact same number so if you put one here this hash function return one so yeah um, so I use a, like a hash function hash build function build in function and then uh, get the mother row and then let's uh, let's implement add so first of all uh, get the uh, index equals self dot underscore hash and uh, passing the key value and then we can get the index and then next um, taking the values with a uh, um, index so let's say uh, bucket equals self dot hash set and uh, index so this bucket uh, may have multiple values right so that's why um, we use a loop value in bucket and then if value equal key so we don't add anything just return if uh, not the case, if not the case, so just a bucket dot append and a key value. So this is a add. 
and then let's implement a remove. So we almost the same thing. So the process index e equals self dot underscore hash and the passing the key value and the bucket equals self dot hash set and the index and uh, yeah as I explained earlier so this bucket may have a uh, multiple values so um, so let's say taking an index in range and the length of bucket and then if bucket i equal key so we find the number that number um, we can we should delete that number so bucket i and then return yeah that's a remove right and then um contains so index equals self dot hash and the uh, key so bucket equal self dot hash set and the index so for value in bucket and if value equal key return true so if we don't find the um, key value so just return um, false yeah i think uh, that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be so for add remove contains order of k average so where k is the average number of elements in the bucket so in the worst case scenario or where all element hash to the same bucket so that situation in, in that situation the time complexity should be order of n where n is a total number of element in the hash set so that's why um uh, average order of k average in the in the worst case order of n and the space complexity is the order of n so where n is a total number of elements in the hash set so important it's important to note that the time and the space complexity anal analyze assume a well distributed hash function and it does uh, doesn't take into account collision which can affect the actual performance in practice so be careful so that's all i have for you today if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question